from uh, Brenham, Texas, John Dale Vineyards. Uh, Chris has uh, rounded this grape up and uh, it's going to be a great varietal for us, a white grape. Uh, I'll let Chris tell you a little bit about the, the grape. Uh, <clears throat> nice, a lot of uh, floral notes on it, a lot of uh, tropical fruits Let's try. on the nose. This is uh, picked on uh, July 15th. I always remember that because my anniversary is July 14th. Hmm. And, uh, Catherine and I asked what, what we were doing, and I said, uh, for our anniversary, I said, we'll pack a bag. <laughs> and uh, we took a reefer truck to Brenham, Texas. You're braver than I am. <laughs> <laughs> st stayed in a B&B. Um, so this grape uh, is super unique. About 40% of this was fermented in brand new French oak. Um, and then the other 60% was done with stainless. Um, it really is nice on the nose. A lot of floral, a lot of honey. Um, the oak integrates very, very well with this, which <clears throat> I know some um, people, Blanc de Bois fans, disagree with. But you know, it's even changed over the last couple months now. It's got more of, a, <clears throat> more of that old world character to it. Absolutely. That, uh, I think from that barrel, that surly Absolutely. aging. Is, uh, so we did, up as that. we did a lot of surly's aging, which means um, we, we started stirring, right? Uh, we aged over lees and stirred every week. Um, which improves the mouthfeel dramatically. Um, and the French oak on this really sings through on the side of your palate. Um, and we just found out that uh, this, this wine did win the number two white wine at the Austin Rodeo. And uh, Jack Allen's <laughs> Kitchen um, is actually bringing this wine to New York City next month. Uh, he served at the James Beard Award dinner. And I think he's serving it with Cabrito, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. A good well, Texas dish. Toast to you, man. Yeah, yeah. to you. Yeah, we're good.